So this is the battery out of my 2008 Toyota Prius. And uh, it's showing the red triangle of death. And uh, I put the ODB2 sensor on and it's showing that uh, cell uh, bank number five is uh, gone bad. And if you know anything about these batteries, there's actually two cells per cell bank on uh, what the sensor reads. So I'm trying to find which cell is actually bad. So I went through and I tested the voltage on each of these cells with my voltmeter. And the voltmeter is actually testing fine, basically 7.9 or so volts, 7.8, occasionally 7.7, nothing really out of the ordinary as far as the voltage. Um, so obviously it's, it's failing under load. And so I was like, how do I test it under load? And there's a lot of things on YouTube which I didn't find particularly helpful is like people would put up a, a uh, like a 12 volt bolt light bulb and have that uh, uh, measuring the voltage as the uh, current is drawn down under load. So I had the idea of maybe using this uh, 12 volt um, battery tester I got from Harbor Freight and uh, it actually works really well. And so um, I have already found the bad cell I will demonstrate a good cell. You gotta make sure you get the positive and negative leads on the correct side because they do alternate back and forth. So I got this guy here. And it, it doesn't have to be real fancy. And so what I'll do is cycle through, battery test. Uh, I'm just gonna test a st uh, standard flooded battery. It doesn't have to be exact. All I'm doing is checking relative resistance, trying to find the one bad cell. Uh, cold cranking amps, it doesn't really matter. I'm putting, leaving it at 500 as a default. I know it's not 500, that's not that important. I'm looking for uh, the voltage and the internal resistance of the battery. So I go ahead and hit yes to that for 500 amp uh, cold cranking amps. The battery is basically not in the car. Uh, it's an isolated battery. So now it goes through its testing procedure. And this one comes back, it uh, says state of health at 90%, measured cold cranking amps of 500. I don't believe that, but that's okay. Uh, voltage uh, battery output is 8.01 volts. Internal resistance, that's the number I'm looking for, 5.99 milliohms. Okay, so if I go to the known bad battery, it's actually on this lead is switched around, so I gotta put the negative here and the positive here. And I'll run the test on this one. Same thing. 500 cold cranking amps. It is not in the car. And let this one test. So here we see a state of health 10%. Well, that's dramatically different than all the other ch uh, cells I've tested. In a, the uh, cold cranking amps 174, which is I know it's not a real number, but relative to the other one is substantially lower. Uh, battery voltage is uh, nine point or 7.93. That is adequate voltage, but look at that internal resistance. 17.23 milliohms, substantially more than the uh, better cell, the good cell. So this is uh, the one bad cell I've isolated using um, a Harbor Freight battery system analyzer. You don't have to go have a fancy light bulb and uh, spend a lot of time running down the cell, uh, watching the voltage drop. This little tester works really well. So thank you for uh, watching my video.